Hi, I'm Anjali Suresh of TKM College of Engineering. Today, I'm here to demonstrate the working of Bainbridge Oscillator using op-amp. The op-amp is a high-gain versatile device which is used to amplify AC and DC signals and the output voltage is proportional to the potential difference between the input terminals. Earlier, the op-amp was used for computing a variety of mathematical operations like multiplication and differentiation, but nowadays it is widely used for applications like oscillators and filters. Due to negative feedback, the characteristics of a pump, like its gain, input and the output impedance, have little dependence on the temperature variations and have more dependence on the external components. The Wainbridge is an audio frequency oscillator of high stability. The circuit consists of two parts, which is the amplifier and the feedback network. The feedback signal is given to the non-inverting input terminal of your pump. Therefore, the circuit works as a non-inverting amplifier and the feedback network need not provide any phase shift. The feedback is provided by the bridge circuit which mainly consists of a lead lag network. And the basic principle behind the Wainbridge oscillator is the Barkhausen criteria. And the Barkhausen criteria states that for sustained oscillations, the loop gain should be unity and the total phase shift should be an integral multiple of 2 pi. Now, this is the circuit of the Wainbridge oscillator. The op amp used here is 741. And this is a pin diagram of op amp 741. The circuit mainly consists, as said earlier, the amplifier and the feedback network. Uh, the feedback signal is given to the non-inverting input terminal. Therefore, the amplifier acts as a non-inverting non-inverting amplifier. A beta is equal to one, where A is the gain of the amplifier and beta is the feedback factor. To achieve unit gain, the value of the resistance RF is adjusted by the potentiometer. Since the amplifier acts as a non-inverting amplifier, the phase shift provided by the amplifier is zero. And in the feedback network, network, as already said, it consists of a series RC network and a par parallel RC network. The phase shift provided by the series RC network is cancelled out by the phase shift provided by the parallel RC network. Therefore, the total phase shift is zero and which satisfies the Barkhausen criteria. So this is a circuit which has been set up on the breadboard. And now let's, let's analyze the circuit. The circuit consists of the op-amp, which is this one, and the input resistance RI, the feedback network, which consists of the parallel RC network, the CGS RC network, and the feedback resistance is provided by the potentiometer. The feedback factor is 1 by 3. Therefore, to satisfy Barkhausen's criteria, the gain of the amplifier should be at least 3. Let's see the working of the circuit. Initially, connect the power supply to the circuit. Then turn on the power. And the output is obtained from the pin number 6 of the op-amp. Here we can see that there is no wave on the screen. As said earlier, the gain of the amplifier should be 3, but for practical conditions, the gain should be greater than 3. Therefore, we vary the value of the potentiometer to obtain the gain slightly greater than 3. By varying the potentiometer, we obtain the wave Now we have obtained the sine wave on the screen. Let's measure the amplitude and the frequency. The circuit was designed for 1 kilohertz and the obtained frequency is 1.09 kilohertz. And the obtained amplitude, peak to peak amplitude is 20 volt. One of the main applications of Wainbridge oscillator is that it is used to produce audio frequency waves. Anyways, I really hope you all found this session very useful. Thank you for listening and have a very nice day.